Good morning. First of all, I'd like to say thank you to Alibaba Cloud for inviting us to this awesome event. And I'm so glad to represent Nina to talk about story behind Nekomata, the state of the art Japanese LLM based on Chenwen. So LLM is the hot topic. And GPT-4, as one of the most dominating um, LLM, it has shown dominating performance in all kinds of benchmarks. And in benchmarks such as MTBench and Alpaca Eval, GPT-4 is even used as a judge to assess other models' performance. However, GPT-4 is not an answer to all the questions. In cases where there are requirements for security, uh, customization, and a limited budget, using non-open sourcing language models such as GPT-4 can be problematic. Since we don't have the access to the model weights, we have to send our data to their servers. And we cannot change a model for customization, or we cannot host the model on our own infrastructure to reduce the cost. So now open sourcing LAMs stand out. Uh, most capable uh, open sourcing LAMs are English-centric or Chinese-centric. And for applications for other languages such as Japanese, maybe an alternative is to use multilingual LAMs, but usually they are not that strong. So the last option is to train our own LAMs. And Lingna is a pioneer in training and releasing Japanese LAMs. Um, back to 2021, uh, we released the Japanese GPT uh, using the pre-training from scratch. And then one year later, we released larger 1 billion Japanese GPTs. In 2023, we, released, uh, we further improved the model sizes and the uh, training data size and released the Japanese GPT Neo X of 3.6 billion parameters. And then the, bit, the bilingual GPT Neo X of 4 billion parameters. But the paradigm of print training from scratch soon changed after the release of very strong models such as Llama 2. And these models are extensively trained for more than 1 trillion or two, even 2 trillion tokens. And people found that continually pre training these models on a small amount of data can produce models that are even stronger than models trained from scratch. Um, so we based on our model on Llama 2 and released the Yoli, a uh, 7 billion Japanese LAM, which significantly outperforms all the previous Japanese LAMs. But one problem remains that Llama 2's pre-training data and tokenizer were specifically designed for English. So we found that Llama 2 is actually inefficient in the training and inference in Japanese. Luckily, a new language uh, model series, Chenwen by Alibaba Cloud, saved the situation. So Chenwen is not only a better model, a better baseline, uh, base model, it also makes uh, transferring to a new language easier by, pro uh, by its more universal model design. So here are more details of why Chenwen makes everything easier. First of all, Chenwen team provides uh, many different model choices for different model sizes, um, different modalities, and different application pu purposes. Second, the Chenwen model achieves state-of-the-art performance. According to a third-party benchmark, the 72 billion Chenwen model can achieve a score of 67.1, which is already very close to GPT-4 72. Um, but don't forget that Chenwen is an open source model. There are also many useful features, such as building flash attention, uh, verified quantization models, and very long input, long context length. There is one thing I would like to put more focus on, that is the awesome tokenizer with an inclusive vocabulary. In our Japanese tokenization experiment, we found that Chenwen's tokenizer is 66% more efficient than Amatu's tokenizer. Uh, not only in Japanese, we also verified Chenwen's tokenized efficiency in encoding other languages. So in this benchmark, we collected the Wikipedia text for the following nine uh, languages. Indonesia, Khmer, Korean, Lao, Malay, Burmese, Thai, Tagalog, and Vietnamese. And we measured how many tokens are needed to encode one byte of data on average. And we can see from the figure that the Chenwen tokenizer 
always needs fewer tokens to encode the same amount of data uh, compared to Llama 2. And on average, the improvement of efficiency is 30%, and the maximum improvement can be 50 to 52% among these nine languages. So based on this awesome channel model, we continually pre-train and release the Nak uh, Nekomata model series. We used 30 billion tokens and 66 billion tokens for the 9 billion model and 14 billion model, respectively. Um, and here are some details of the training settings. A uh, sequence of 4,000 tokens, and there are 2 million tokens in each min batch. The weight decay is 0 0.1, and we warm up the learning rate in the first 1% training steps. And also, compared to pre-training from scratch, we also just need a, a much less training hours for continuing training. So the resulting Nikomata models are extremely strong. According to the Japanese LM evaluation harness benchmark, the 14 billion Nikomata model even outperformed a model which is based on 70 billion Lama 2. And the 7 billion Nikomata model has, of course, um, beats the previous Yori models and becomes the best 7 billion Japanese LLM. And here are some application examples using the Nikomata models. In the first example, we are required to fine tune an LLM for long text summarization. In particular, we are asked to summarize the transcripts of their one hour long audio meeting recording. And luckily, the Nekomata model has an awesome byte to token ratio of 0 0.24 and has an effective context length of at least 8,000 tokens. Therefore, we're able to encode this one hour long um, meeting recording with only 4,000 tokens and handle it without any problem using the Nekomata model. In the second example, we use the um, Nikomata model for lyrics translation. And in this interesting experiment, uh, we use the song, Kazeo Atsumede, from a band called Happy End, which is known for its poetic lyrics writing. And in the middle, we are showing the outputs from a 14 billion model and the 7 billion model. And we can see the 14 billion model is able to translate almost all the important phrases as uh, marked with different colors including um, the token, including the term galam, which, is, which means uh, temple-like, peaceful, and quiet place. So it suggests that a large model can deliver capabilities that is almost impossible for small models. And as we have mentioned earlier, luckily, Chenwen has provided us with a lot of interesting and strong models so that we can choose the proper model for either better cap capability or better efficiency. So to wrap it up, uh, Lingna has been working on open sourcing and training large language models for years. Our works has huge and positive impacts on the Japanese LM community. At the same time, our works have been largely motivated and supported by awesome large language models such as Chenwen by Alibaba Cloud. So let's make the world a better place by open sourcing. Thank you. <laughs>